Now to new developments after a violent attack in North Spokane last night. Police arrested a 23-year-old man accused of randomly stabbing a Spokane father who was just feet away from his adult son. Tonight we hear from the man who was stabbed for the first time. He's back home tonight recovering. And in an exclusive interview you'll see only on KXOI4, our Ariana Lake joins us now with an update on the case and more on the man who was stabbed. Ariana? Yeah, if you come through this neighborhood, it's not a place that you would think a stabbing like this would happen. Very quiet, but that's exactly what happened here last night. But the man who was stabbed says this shouldn't define Spokane. Um, State versus Corey Taylor. 23-year-old Corey Taylor faced a judge today, accused of stabbing a Spokane father last night. Joe Richter says he and his son Josh were jumping a truck on the 5100 block of North Walnut. That's just west of Northtown. When Taylor started coming toward them around 6 p.m. He started coming closer and yelled what? And I just yelled back, hey, I'm not talking to you. And then he came right up to us and I said, hey, I'm just talking to my son. And he stabbed me. Just boom, like that. Josh didn't see the stabbing, but soon realized what happened. So he took off after Taylor. He uh, chased the guy for about six blocks, or jumping over fences, running through backyards. Court documents reveal at one point, Taylor knocked on someone's door. When a woman opened the door gingerly, I knew right away that it wasn't his house, so I, I yelled at the woman. I said, ma'am, close your door. This man is dangerous. She didn't let him in, so the chase continued. Josh soon lost sight of the attacker, but it didn't take police with a canine long before they found him, thanks to someone who saw him hiding in a nearby alley and called 911. Meantime, first responders were treating the two-inch deep cut on Joe's left side. The fire department, the police, they're all absolutely wonderful. They treated me phenomenally well. He says the knife missed all his organs, and he was back home by early this morning. It's not the attack that stands out to him. It's the kindness and attention that strangers showed him afterwards. And I'm in great shape, so just the community outpouring is wonderful. And that's what Spokane's all about, really. Taylor's bond was set in court today at $100,000. He does have a previous felony conviction. Reporting live in North Spokane, Ariana Lake, KXLY4 News. Thank you, Ariana.